And while I was always seeking to, to make it right, to make it better, to be a better girl, I always thought I was the bad girl and it was always my fault. And I tried to get my mom to stop and stop drinking. And she wouldn't, did not want to listen because it was not her decision. Not recently, but a few years ago when the Pretty Baby film first came out where Brooke was playing the child in the House of Prostitutes right at the turn of the century that you were a stage mother that you were mm -hmm. living your life through Brooke that you were exploiting her you know you know the old mm -hmm. ugly sure. stuff okay. uh, how much did it hurt I don't think it hurt at all it didn't hurt you not at all no um, I don't think it's hurt either of us um, fortunately um, see Brooke was sort of just introduced to the world at that time but prior to but that, prior yeah. to that she'd been working 10 years and um, we were familiar with, I mean, on a smaller scale of other people not being so appreciative of Brooke, being jealous. Terry Shields, she always wanted to be a star, but she never found her way. It never became like lucrative. It never took off for her. So when she was offered money to put baby Brooke in a commercial around 11 months, she took it. And at that point she realized, oh, I can start making money off of my child. And it wasn't until Brooke Shields was about nine and a half, 10 years old, that things really hit the fan. And this is where we see Terry sign Brooke up to be a model in the Playboy magazine called Sugar and Spice. So it was like a, a sister company for Playboy. They took pictures where the children bears all. It was very cringe to the point where they took her to court and they tried to make it so that these pictures would never see the light of day and they lost because the law there were laws to protect child actors but there was no law to protect child models so the court had no choice but to let this go and terry shields she sold these pictures to the photographer, to Playboy, and they were released. Like they are still in circulation till this day. The judge, he had some harsh words for Terry, and you would think that that would really get through to her head, but oh no, she took it a step further. When Brooke was 12 years old, she allowed her baby to play a prostitute in the movie Pretty Baby, in which a 12 year old is running around town having hookups with older adult men she was consistently about the bag forsaking her daughter's safety and then brooke shields her career it takes off when brooke is about 14 years old she does this calvin klein ad they did a cover with brooke shields and terry shields and she was like yeah I let my daughter post with no clothes on and I'm a good mom and she likes it. She's a minor. You're supposed to be the adult, Terry. Protect the child. And she got a lot of money for that. And then Kelvin Klein, they're like, okay, controversy sells. So they put Brooke in a commercial in which she's talking about jeans, but she suggestively has legs open and the camera pans to our center crop you want to know what comes between me and my calvins nothing and it's like oh my goodness and later on Brooke gets a lot of backlash. A lot of people are like, okay, we don't like where this is going and it's really making it uncomfortable for us because her mom wanted to, I guess, push that barrier and she wasn't protecting her child. So a lot of people kind of fell back until Brooke got a little bit older. And this is where Brooke now, she talks about how her and her mom, they had a falling out and she described her mom as a fun-loving alcoholic. There's more, but this video, I didn't want to make it too long. This is Daisha Shaquila. I'm doing a whole series on toxic momagers. Stay tuned, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video. Oh, it gets real.